This is Bob Capetta from the University of Illinois at Chicago, and this lesson is on trigonometric integral. So the first example is the integral of sine squared x. This is probably the most common trig integral that comes up. That's a little bit challenging. To solve this, we want to remind ourselves of the double angle identity for cosine. So cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, and it's really nice to memorize that, so I encourage you to do so. Now I need to keep sine squared, so I'm going to rewrite cos squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta. Now 1 minus sine squared theta minus another sine squared theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. We want to go ahead and solve for 2 sine squared x, or 2 sine squared theta. So let's bring the uh, negative 2 sine squared theta to the left side, so that'll become positive 2 squared theta. Bring the cos 2 theta to the right side, that'll become negative cos 2 theta. So our next line, indeed, is 2 sine squared theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta. And we're almost where we need to be. You want to get sine squared theta, which we'll use for sine squared x. So divide the left side by 2, divide the right side by 2, and we get sine squared theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta over 2. So just replace theta with x, and you get sine squared x is 1 minus cos 2x over 2. And this is what we're going to integrate. So instead of integrating sine squared x, we're going to integrate 1 minus cos 2x over 2. So how is that going to behave? Well, this is in fact two integrals. The integral of 1 half minus the integral of 1 half cos 2x dx. The integral of 1 half dx is easy. We're going to want to pull the 1 half out there. So we get 1 half times the integral of dx minus 1 half the integral of cos 2x dx. And so it looks like there's no change there. Then that becomes 1 half x, integral of dx is just x, 1 half x minus 1 half the integral of cos 2x dx. So this is now the integral that we have to worry about. And to solve that, we're going to have to do a u substitution. So this is where we are. Integral of sine squared x is a half x minus 1 half the integral of cos 2x dx. So our u is going to be 2x. So the derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of 2x. The derivative with respect to x of 2x is 2. The derivative with respect to x of u is du dx. So du dx is 2. du is 2 dx. du over 2 is dx. So 2x becomes u, and dx becomes du over 2. Now this 1 half and that 1 half multiply together to give me 1 quarter the integral of cos u du. And the integral of cos u, of course, is sine u, because the derivative of sine is cosine. And this will become a half x minus a quarter sine u plus c. But what is u? u is 2x. So a half x minus a quarter sine u becomes a half x minus a quarter sine of u sine of 2x plus c. And that'll do it for us for that problem. Now, for my next example, I'm going to look at the integral of cosine squared of 3x. So it's going to be very similar to the integral of sine squared that I just did. Again, this is based off the double angle identity for cosine. So cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. But this time, I want to keep cos squared, so I'll change sine squared into 1 minus cos squared. So I have cos 2 theta is cos squared theta minus quantity 1 minus cos squared theta cos squared minus negative cos squared theta becomes 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Bring the 1 to the other side, add 1 to both sides, we get 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta. And then dividing by 2, 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 is cos squared theta. But I don't want cos squared theta, I want cos squared 3x. So replace this theta with 3x, replace that theta with 3x. Then what does that become? Replacing theta with 3x, I get cos squared of 3x is 1 plus cos 2 times 3x, replacing that theta with 3x over 2. Or the integral of cos squared 3x is 1 plus cos 6x over 2. And that's what I need to integrate, and that's going to be relatively easy for us to do. So the integral of cos squared 3x becomes the integral of 1 plus cos 6x over 2. That will require two integrals, integral 1 half dx plus integral 1 half cos 6x dx. And I pull the 1 half out in front of the second integral to make that a little easier. At this point, we're going to let a u be 6x. So 
So the derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of 6x. du dx is 6, du is 6 dx, du over 6 is dx. We'll replace 6x with u, we'll replace dx with du over 6. So a half cos u times du over 6. This 2 and that 6 will multiply together to give me a 12th. And then the integral of cos u, of course, is just sine u. So a half x plus a 12th cos u du. Integral of cos u, again, sine u, a half x plus a 12th sine u. But what is u? u is supposed to be 6x, so I need to make that change, and I will do that. And fixing that error, we have a half x plus 1 12th sine of 6x plus c should indeed be our answer to that problem. Let's take a look at our next example. We have the integral of cosine cubed x dx. So how to proceed with this one? We're going to rewrite this as the integral of cosine squared x times cosine x first. And then we need to recognize, of course, from Pythagoras that cos squared x is the same as 1 minus sine squared x. And that will enable us to evaluate the integral. So I have the integral of 1 minus sine squared x times cosine x. If I let u be sine x, the derivative of sine x is cos x, and I should be able to finish the integral. So how is that going to behave? Letting u be sine x. So the derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of sine x. So we get du dx is cos x, multiplying both sides by dx. du is cos x dx. And then dividing by cos x, I get du divided by cos x is dx. So u is sine x. So sine squared x will become u squared. Leave cos x alone for now. But dx is du over cos x. And you'll see that the cosine x's will cancel. So here we go. Notice this cos x and that cos x divide out. And I'm left with the integral of 1 minus u squared du, which is relatively easy for us to do. Integral of 1 is u. Integral of u squared is u cubed over 3. So that this becomes u minus u cubed over 3 plus c. But what is u? u is sine x. u cubed sine cubed x or sine x quantity cubed over 3 plus c will be our answer for the integral of cosine cubed x. Okay, the next one we have is the integral of sine to the fifth x times cos x dx. Well, how are we going to do this one? We're going to break down sine to the fifth as sine squared, sine squared, times sine. And we're going to be able to rewrite those sine squareds as 1 minus cos squared. So let's see how that's going to work. Sine squared, sine squared, sine, cos x. And sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So that we get 1 minus cos squared x, 1 minus cos squared x, sine x, cos x. Now why? How is this going to work? If I let u equal cosine x, okay, this becomes 1 minus u squared. This becomes 1 minus u squared. This becomes u. The derivative of cos x is minus sine x, so it'll knock out that sine x. And we're able to finish the problem using a u substitution. So that's so exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to let u equal cos x and then see how that behaves. So if u is cos x, the derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of cos x. So du dx is negative sine x. du is negative sine x dx and du divided by negative sine x equals dx. And now let's watch the substitution. How did that work? Cos squared, u is cos x, so cos squared is u squared. Again, cos squared is u squared. Sine, we're going to keep for now. Cos x is just u. dx is du over negative sine x. So sine x is canceled, but I need a negative sign. So a negative sign comes out in front and the sine x goes away when we do that. So let's take a quick look at that. Sine x over negative sine x gives me a negative 1 out in front. 1 minus u squared times 1 minus u squared times u du. So how are we going to do this? Let's multiply term to term. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative u squared, negative u squared. Negative u squared, 1, negative u squared. Negative u squared, 
times negative u squared positive u to the fourth. So I get 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth times u du. Multiplying in that u, that'll give me u minus 2u cubed plus u to the fifth with the minus sign out in front. What will that look like? The opposite of u minus 2u cubed plus u to the fifth du. I want to distribute that negative sign just so I don't lose track of it. So it'll change all of these signs. This will become negative u, positive 2u cubed, negative u to the fifth. And now we can do our integrals. Integral of negative u, negative u squared over 2. Integral of 2u cubed is 2u to the fourth over 4. Integral of u to the fifth would be u to the sixth over 6. So there we go, negative u squared over 2 plus 2u to the fourth over 4 minus u to the sixth over 6. Only thing interesting here is obviously 2 fourths becomes a half. And then I've got to replace the u with cos x. So it'll be negative cos squared x over 2 plus a half cos to the fourth x minus cos to the sixth x over 6 plus c. And our final answer will look like that. And that will conclude this lesson.